Hi guys, welcome back to the PC Repair Guru. Today I want to show you guys how to enable system protection on Windows 10. By default, it has been disabled. Uh, I think one of the reasons why I think I believe that why they disable it, it was because uh, so that you can't revert back to your previous Windows, even though even though they allow you to actually um, revert back to your old windows recovery if you go on recovery you can go back to your previous windows which uh, which for myself it did not work and uh, it might work for you guys but I, I'm not sure I, don't, I have no idea why they got this in here um, I did the backup I did use system protection before um, upgrading Windows 10 I think one of the reasons I think they've done that is because so that the users don't go back. But I don't know. I'm not quite sure because even though if I'm even though if I try to go back, it says we're sorry, but we can't go back. The files we need to take, the files we need to take you back to the previous version of Windows were removed from the PC. So you know, my you know, I'm just guessing. Maybe you know, maybe they've done it that way so so that the users can't go back. But anyways, today I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you how to enable the system protection for Windows 10. It's quite simple and uh, by, as I already told you guys, by default it's off and I just recently turned mine on and if I just go on my system restore and actually check out my restore points, you can see what I have installed and some of the updates I had to do to restore certain ones because they wouldn't work. And there you have it, which I done the manual for Windows 10. We basically once it upgraded, I had to re create every system restore. To obviously to create a restore point, you just gotta click on create and just name it whatever you want, and click on create. It might take time, but eventually it'll get there. Um, for the settings. Depending how big your hard drive is, I do have a SSD hard drive. Um, it's up to you at the end. It's up to you at the end of the day. I got my close to 90 meg, 90 sorry gigabytes of data for restoring, you know, restoring data. If something goes wrong, I can revert back to anything previously. But uh, if you have enough, a lot of data, you can actually also, you know, increase this. And uh, as uh, you already know, I have close. That's how much I got, which is more than enough. But I tend to put it to 100 gig at least. I tend to put give it at least 100 gig. You know, it should be more than enough to actually, you know, mess around. I think it depends on your hard drive also. So, same with the E drive. I do have another hard drive in there. That's not SSD. Same with that one. I put it to twenty percent because of uh, I normally use uh, video editing on this one. The files. But uh, there you have it for system protection. How to enable it? It's quite simple. So if you if you were to delete everything from your previous uh, data, you, all you just gotta do is turn it off basically. Just turning that off, disabling it. That will just remove it and clean wipe any previous data you had. Okay, then there you have it. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like the video. Do comment below regarding this video and um, if there's any other if I missed any